Hey everybody! As you know, this is a very exciting time of year for us at Snake Discovery. It's breeding season! We have two remaining females that we are expecting babies or eggs from. This garter snake, which is a live-bearing species, and this western fox snake, which is an egg-laying species. However, it's been a long time since we've been expecting their babies, and now we're starting to wonder, are they actually gravid? Or are they just pulling the pregnancy card to get extra food from us? You might be. You do really like your food. So, we are going to be bringing them to the vet today to get x-rays done, and then we'll finally know once and for all if they are in fact going to have babies, or if they've just been tricking us this entire time. <laughs> bit of a backstory on each of these really quickly. The western fox snake we have been trying to breed for several years now. They're kind of a tougher species to breed because they have to get really cold during the winter. But we started noticing after pairing season was up that she was looking quite thick in the lower third of her body, which is where eggs are stored. We even had our friend who is a, a state herpetologist take a look at her and he confirmed that yeah, she is, she's gravid. But she should have laid those eggs a long time ago. I mean, she still looks thick, so maybe she's just, maybe we just caught her really early on and she's just not ready to lay them yet. Or maybe she has reabsorbed the eggs. We don't know. But I just want to know if there's eggs still in there. Our second case for today is this garter snake. She is actually a hybrid between a ribbon snake and a plains garter. And her name is Prius. A lot of you know her. She's pretty popular on the channel. She did have one litter of babies since they're a live bearing species. They just give birth. Uh, no eggs involved. She had one successful litter earlier this year, and then about a month later she looked gravid again. She looked very thick in, again, the lower third of her body where those babies are developing. So we thought for sure that she was gonna have a second clutch, but she should have had it like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, six weeks ago. Garter snakes being live bearers are a bit harder to predict when they're actually going to give birth, but I think it should have been by now. So, let's head to the vet and see if these guys really do deserve all the food I've been giving you, thinking you're developing eggs or babies, or if you're just being gluttons. Well, just got to the vet. I have the girls with me. I'm sure they're so excited for this. Let's figure out if they're gravid. Tell me. Just tell me if you're gravid, or if you're just trying to get free food. You too, Prius, wherever you are. Lay your eggs, huh? Looks good. Looks good. When was the last time that she ate it? Uh, she ate two weeks ago. I'm assuming she didn't want to eat last time just because she's in shed. Because I tried sure. feeding her last night. And like before, when Jeff was looking at her, we were able to hold her up and like you could see the ripples like yeah. from what looked like babies on the inside. Or not babies, but eggs. Yeah. So that's what made him think that she was gravid. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not feeling anything obvious, but, you okay. know, that's not unusual. Right. Sometimes just the way the eggs position themselves, you might not feel them. So the x-ray, I think, would be good. Okay. She looks to be in very good condition, though. Well, that's good. All right. Well, we'll take an x-ray. Sweet. See what we can find. All right. This is our garter snake. Yep. Yeah, sometimes palpation is really straightforward, and yep, that's there, and then sometimes that's when we need an x-ray okay. to help support what we think could be going on. I don't feel anything obvious that I would call it, but okay. it does feel a little full to okay. me. I mean, so when maybe. I feel like, it doesn't feel like just kind of a normal colon. It does feel just kind of full. Okay, so... Maybe. So maybe. Huh. Let's see what we get on the x-ray for her, too. I suppose we could potentially use ultrasound to look if we're not sure on the x-ray. Whoa, I never thought of that. But I think let's start with the x-ray. Okay, we'll see, okay. Because that's going to give us kind of the more full picture okay. of what's okay. going okay. on. <laughs> okay, I can hear them doing the fox snakes x-ray over there. So that should be done soon. And then next will be Prius with uh, her x-ray. And if either of them are gravid, we should be able to see it. The fox snake, since they are egg layers, will be able to see eggs actually inside of her. Whereas the garter snake, being a live bearing species, if she's gravid, we should see tiny little snake skeletons in there. 
So I can't, I really hope the garter is gravid because that would be so cool to see. But they're healthy, that's what I have to remind myself is they're healthy, that's all that matters. It would just be an extra bonus if they were in fact gravid. Ooh, I got invited to watch Prius's x-ray. Okay, so we're gonna take a little x-ray here of Prius. So um, we're gonna take what we call a lateral x-ray, which means that she'll be on her side. So I've set up the machine here. She's on her right side, so we have that marked there. And we're gonna take an x-ray of the back half of her. Nice. Caudal half, as we call it, towards the tail. All right. All right, that's quick. That was it. Just a picture. Yeah. See, guys, x-rays aren't that bad. Would you mind explaining what the R is? Yeah, so the R is just a marker that tells us what the angle is on the x-ray. So we put her on her right side. So we put the R just so that the doctor knows when she's looking at the film that the right side was down. You want to see some x-rays? Yeah. Yes. I hear Katie. <laughs> okay. Could you see something? I could see something. I don't know what oh. it was. Oh. Uh, Let's find a out. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So we're going to start with Vixen, the fox. So this, um, Katie labeled the head end for us so that we would know which end was what. So let's kind of zoom in here. And I do not see a. Oh, there's in nothing Vixen, in there. Though. Oh my gosh. This is some gas in the GI tract. Okay. Um, so I did have Katie take one more view a little farther back or caudal. Okay. And in this view, you can see how the body sort of tapers to the tail. So here's the vent. Mm -hmm. This is gas in the colon, but I don't see any specific eggs. No, I don't either. So oh, she was faking it. She was faking it. Okay. Well, now we know, right. Vixen. And now Prius. Yes. Prius has eggs. Oh! <gasps> Oh, look at that. So that's all these. Oh, but they're live? Are those so, like... Well, they are... Garter snakes are oval viviparous. Yep. So what that means is... Oh, my they, gosh. They have eggs inside the body, and they incubate inside the body. They hatch from the eggs, and then they give birth to <gasps> live young. Yeah. You know, I thought that you would still so, see a little bit, but yeah, they really actually do look like eggs. Yeah. This whole time, I thought you'd still be able to kind of see through them. I didn't know they'd have a definitive like shell right, of sorts. Right. Wow, I learned something new. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That is you can even count them. One, That's... two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <gasps> nine, ten. Oh my gosh. You think it might continue? It might a little? continue wow. um, further up the Oh, the so Prius isn't faking it. <laughs> I wonder So if... I'm just out of curiosity, I do want to put the ultrasound on her. <gasps> Should we do an ultrasound? Yeah, okay. Let's do, it. do you think with there being what eggs? We'll see. We want just for funsies but for education. Just more for funsies. Yeah. Okay, let's. <laughs> so guys, we are gonna do an ultrasound on Prius to see what we can find. Oh, I can't wait for this. <laughs> Someone brought up to me that I should invest in a two thousand dollar ultrasound machine just for this, and I'm like, I only have oh. one live bearing <laughs> species that I work with. <laughs> so is it just a matter of kind of moving around and? Yeah, and just trying to. So like up um, here yes. is, what's that part? So that, so when I get back in here. Black part at the top is the inside of the egg? I think so, it? yep. Really? Okay, that's the inside of the egg. So fluid shows up as black. As black. So what would all of this cavity be? That's just all the sound waves kind of bouncing. It's okay. It's kind of just noise, I guess you would say. Okay. Right there in the top of the screen, see how right there's that structure? That? Yes. Yeah, I can see that right there too, yeah. I think that might be the baby. Really? I'd like to see it move. Yeah, that would be cool. You can see the shell as at, on the bottom of the structure. Is that, that this white line? Yes. That's the yep, shell? Yep. Okay. Yep, I think so. Man, this is like totally out of my territory. I have no idea how any of well, this works. Well, it's a bit out of mine too, just because <laughs> I haven't really, but you know, if I go along, I can continue to see these, these structures. So yeah. I think those are the eggs. I just, it's not as obvious what's inside it. I can't really <sighs> say we got a good image of a little baby in there, but. It's still kind of cool just to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so we don't know if they're alive in her, yeah. but there is something There's in there. There's eggs in there. We just don't know if they're as viable babies. Okay. All right. Well, well that was interesting. That was. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Yeah. That was really cool. 
And now we know that the fox snake just wanted to be pampered and told she was beautiful and glowing. She was not gravid at all. So now you're on a diet. I'm sorry, you're on a diet. Although there wasn't much fat in her grad, so I'm not too worried. But what's really exciting is that Prius, the garter snake, is in fact gravid and that was so cool we even did an ultrasound on her however we didn't see any movement as you saw in the ultrasound so either it just didn't pick up on the movement the babies were too confined in their eggs so they couldn't really move at all or the eggs are infertile and they're slugs and that is definitely an option or it's a possibility because she was not paired with a male again after she gave birth the first time so there's a very good chance they could just be infertile but my fingers are crossed that they are fertile and viable and that we will just see babies someday in her enclosure. If that happens, or how about no matter what, I will do an update either on the community tab if they're all infertile slugs. I'll just post about it on there. But if she does have babies, I'll make a whole video about it for you guys. What surprised me was that in garter snakes, I thought you would see little skeletons of the babies on the inside where actually the membrane around the baby, that shell, is much thicker than I had predicted. And it turns out you cannot see them. They just look like normal eggs. But anyway, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new as well. Uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters for always backing our channel. We do appreciate that. Your contributions are actually what funded today's vet visit, which we didn't have to do. We just did because we wanted to thank you guys for supporting us. So thank you again for that. I will keep you posted on how Prius's um, birthing process goes and we'll see you next time.